everyone. Welcome back for day two of the 13 Nights of Samhain Challenge. Once again, I have notes on my phone just to make sure I don't forget anything. So today's prompt is to tell us a cherished story or piece of wisdom from someone who has passed on. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about my aunt. She passed unexpectedly last year after she suddenly got very sick. And, um, it was a big shock to everyone. No one was expecting it at all. It, um, you know, it just kind of came out of nowhere. And so it was an extreme shock and it's been very, very difficult for everyone. And so when I was a little kid, a baby into when I was young, um, I lived with her. And so she was like my mom. And, um, so we were just always extremely close. And then when I was about two and a half, she had her son. And so we always considered each other to be siblings and, um, you know, got along great. I would spend all day with her. And then once her son was born, I would spend all day with both of them, you know, every day, just spending all day with them. And um, I, just, I remember so many good memories, like, we would go up to the local park and play up there and do things like playing games together and just basically spending all day with them and with my aunt. She was really the kindest and most accepting person I have ever met. She was extremely non-judgmental. She never had a bad word to say about anyone, no matter what they said about her, how they treated her. You know, she was always just very kind, very loving. And she treated me a lot about tolerance, taught me a lot about tolerance and how you really want to treat people the way you want to be treated, even if that's not how they're treating you. So she was a Christian and um, she had very strong beliefs and convictions. And that is something I always really admired about her, even though I mean, I grew up as a Christian, but um, I switched to paganism when I was still young. And so even though we didn't agree on all our beliefs, it was something I very much admired about her, that she was so strong in her beliefs. And I remember she would read her Bible every day, you know, multiple times a day. She carried it with her everywhere she went. And um, she was just a very wise woman who often had small tidbits to share and little insights. So one good memory I have with her in specific is something that makes me laugh and um, I'm just now really getting to the point where I can talk or even really think about her without totally losing it and crying. But um, this memory is something that brings a smile to my face. So I remember once when I was little and I was playing with her son in the bedroom just on the floor like playing with the little plastic toys and stuff you know but we were really kind of bored and so um, we were kind of like, you know, I want to do something. And so she was sitting on the floor with us and one quirk that she had is she would take a lemon and she'd cut it in half, sprinkle salt on it, and then just like eat it like an apple or something, just chow down on just the lemon. And so she was doing that. And um, so to try to make us laugh, she, she finished eating it and then she took the peel, which, you know, when it's empty, it's like a little cup, the half the lemon, right? So she like turned it wrong side out and then she put it on the end of her elbow like that and then just like had it on there. And it sounds really dumb, but um, it made us all just like crack up. We were like, like just laughing so hard. I also remember that when we would ride in the car, she would always turn on music and we would all sing along together. And she'd be like, you know, she'd be driving and she'd just kind of be dancing along and, sorry, my chair creaks. <laughs> and, um, you know, that was just a lot of fun. She was a very fun loving person who was very caring and she always loved to laugh. I have a lot of good memories of her. Um, there was a lot of things we didn't get to do together and things I never got to tell her, but I am very glad and thankful for the time we did have together. I will always miss her, but I will always cherish the memories I do have with her. Thanks so much for watching today's video, 
and I will see you for tomorrow's. All right, thank you so much. Please subscribe. Bye.